Let's talk about the angle between planes. Now, if you have two planes in space, there are two possibilities. Either they intersect or they don't ever intersect. If they do intersect, they intersect in a line and they'll make an angle with each other. Now, the way to measure the angle between planes, and by that I mean this angle, is to measure the angle between their normals. But you just have to be careful because if this angle is small, then this angle will be small. But if this angle is large, then this angle will be large too, and the angle up here is actually going to be the smaller of the two. And we always take the smaller of the two angles between theta and 180 minus theta, 180 degrees minus theta. So the smaller of these two angles will be the angle between the two planes. Now, what, how do you tell if they're perpendicular? It's really easy. You just take the two normal vectors and, and perform their dot product. If the dot product is zero, then the normal vectors are perpendicular, and that means the planes are also perpendicular. So, what if they don't intersect? Well, if two planes don't intersect, then they have to be parallel. Or, um, I mean, they do intersect, and they intersect everywhere. They're the same plane. If they don't intersect at all, they're parallel, and the test for parallel planes is that one vector, one normal vector, is a scalar multiple of the other. So if you recognize that one of these normals is a scalar multiple, say, two times the other or minus one times the other, then the planes are parallel.